So as the Battle of Anaxis rages on in Battle Analysis, we are talking a lot about a separatist algorithm that is used to predict Republic troop movements, and I figured today we'd take a closer look at exactly how that algorithm is used, and what it means now that that algorithm has been essentially destroyed. I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoy this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. So one of the key elements of the Battle of Anaxis, as it's depicted in the Clone Wars, is the effort by the Republic to disable a large-scale Separatist algorithm that is very effectively predicting Republic troop movements and countering them. It's being used by CIS forces operating on Anaxis to outmaneuver Republic troops, and ultimately slowly inching the battle towards a Separatist victory. However, during a raid, Republic forces were able to figure out that this uh, algorithm was really a series of responses carried out by a captured and sort of technologically modified POW that was once the Republic clone Echo. With this information in hand, a Republic commando team was sent to Skako Minor to recover the captured clone and disable this separatist algorithm. However, this raises some questions as to how this algorithm was actually used. And these questions are actually answered in a pretty major blunder on the part of the Techno Union. You see, the Techno Union was the sort of entity actually holding Echo, the POW, and they were utilizing the information extracted from this clone to sort of inform Separatist troop movements. However, after Echo is returned to Republic custody by the Commando Force, the leadership of the Techno Union fails to inform the rest of Separatist leadership that the clone has been compromised. So we see during the climax of the Battle of Anaxis, when Republic forces launch a massive raid against the shipyards on that world, the Separatist leadership attempts to use the algorithm, and since they had never been informed that the algorithm was no longer in play, they were able to basically be fed false information by Echo, who was now working for the Republic. This sheds some light on exactly how this algorithm works. It's not a constant stream of data sent from Skako Minor to Separatist forces across the galaxy, but instead a question and response message where a tactical situation is presented to the computer that's hooked up to Echo, who would then spit out the most likely Republic maneuver, or more directly, what they think the Separatists should do to counter the most likely Republic maneuver. This would allow Separatist forces to relatively effectively counter the maneuvers carried out by Republic commanders, particularly commanders that had served with Echo and developed tactics with Echo, most notably Captain Rex. This led to a string of Separatist victories on Anaxis that nearly tipped the scale of the Battle of Anaxis in favor of the CIS. Now, it's another question whether that would have made much of a difference in the war as a whole, as the Battle of Anaxis is just one of many battles and ultimately wouldn't have shifted the tide that much. But that being said, it still could have led to a Separatist victory on Anaxis, and had this algorithm been successfully employed elsewhere in the galaxy, could have led to Separatist victories on other battlefields. However, thanks to the raid carried out by Republic commando units, it was not successful. And this algorithm is ultimately one of the reasons why the raid on Skako Minor had such a massive effect on the outcome of the Battle of Anaxis, and some would say the whole war. Since the Techno Union had failed to communicate that the clone intelligence had been compromised, the Republic forces during the later half of the Battle of Anaxis were able to spoof that data after infiltrating a Separatist command ship. All of this came together to result in a Republic victory during the Battle of Anaxis, and the end of the Anaxis campaign with a Republic success. And this would lead into the final weeks of the war with a desperate Separatist alliance carrying out things like their daring raid against Coruscant in a last-ditch effort to gain the momentum in a war that they're quickly now shifting to a losing position. But all of this resulted from a pair of military engagements, the raid on the communication center on Anaxis, and the Battle of Skako Minor, where after the Republic forces had managed to seize Echo, the forces of the Techno Union launched a counterattack against a local village in an effort to sort of regain control of their POW asset. If you'd like to learn more about the Battle of Skako Minor, I'll leave a link up here to my battle analysis breaking down that engagement. And I'd like you to let me know whether you think if the Separatists had managed to continue the stream of data and maintain custody of Echo, if the Battle of Anaxis and indeed perhaps the entire outcome of the Outer Rim Sieges could have been different, or do you think this was pretty much set in stone and that no amount of intelligence at this point could have turned the tide of the war in favor of the CIS? And if you have anything else you'd like to see me cover in Star Wars, you can let me know down below in the comments. 
Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.